Hello, let us solve this question. A train travels 360 km at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 5 km per hour more, it would have taken 1 hour less for the same journey. Form the quadratic equation to find the speed of the train. So first of all, I will write the formulas for speed, distance and time because that will help you to solve this question. So I will make this triangle. Here I will write D. Here I will write S and here I will write T. So now we know all three formulas. Distance is equals to speed times time. Speed is equals to distance over time. And time is equals to distance over speed. Now this will help us to solve this question very very easily. So here we have distance 360 km and let us say normal speed of a train, normal speed is X. And IS that is increased speed. It means if speed had been 5 km per hour more. So in that case we will write X plus 5. Isn't it? Now if train travels with the normal speed then it takes 1 hour more than if train travel with the faster speed, 5 km per hour faster. It means this will take 1 hour more than this, isn't it? If you understood this, you are almost done. So now I will write, so now I will write time taken when speed is normal minus time taken when speed is increased is equals to 1 hour, isn't it? Now I will substitute the values. If I want to know the time taken when train travels at normal speed, that will be distance over speed, isn't it? It is the formula. So distance is 360 and speed is x. This is the time taken at normal speed. Now if the speed had been 5 km per hour more, in that case time will be distance is same 360 over speed is x plus 5 and that is equal to 1. And now I will further simplify this. So this 360, I am taking LCM. This 360 will be multiplied by x plus 5 minus this 360 will be multiplied by x. So 360x is equals to this one will be multiplied by both because here it has 1 in the denominator. So it will be multiplied by both x and x plus 5. I wrote this one just to make you understand. Even if you don't write this one, that's okay because it will give the same answer in multiplication. So no need to write that one also. Now I will do further simplification. So this is 360x, 360 times 5. That is 1800 minus 360x is equals to x times x, x square, x times 5, 5x. Now this 360x and these 360x, actually I forgot to write x here, will be cancelled. So what I am left with, 0 is equals to, I will take this 1800 another side, x square plus 5x minus 1800. And this is my equation. Now we need to solve this quadratic equation. Now we need to find two values in such a way, if you multiply you get negative 1800 and if you add you get positive 5 and for that we need to do prime factorization of 1800 and that's really very very easy because it's even number so i can do it very fast 900 then 450 then 150 then 50 then 10 then 2 and then one. That's it. You can go in any, any other order also. Here you can continue by 2 also because these are even number. But it's okay. You can go in any order. Now you need to find two groups in such a way. If you multiply you get 1800 and if you add you get 5. So here I will make the group very very fast. Let us say I take these three together. That is 45. And I will take these two and these two together. So that is 5 times to 10. 10 times 4 40. So if you take difference of 45 and 40, you will get 5. But for that you need to make it minus. If you will make this minus, this will be negative 5. We don't want negative 5, positive 5. So here it's minus. Same way, if you multiply these two values, you will get 1800. It means these two are my required numbers. So now instead of 5x, I will write something like this. x square plus 45x minus 40x minus 1800 is equals to 0. Now I will take x common from this two. So x common into bracket x plus 45. Here minus 40 common into bracket x. This minus will be plus. Why? Because of this minus sign. So plus 45 is equals to 0. Now I have x minus 40 is equals to 0 and x plus 45 is equals to 0. So x is equals to 40 or x is equals to minus 45. This is not possible. Speed cannot be negative. So let's say this is our answer. So normal speed is 40 km per hour 
and if you increase 5 km per hour that will be 45 km per hour that's it solved i hope you find my video useful don't forget to press the like button thanks for watching